It's just gone 3.07 p.m. We now go live to our newsroom, bringing you all the news you need to prevent the fear of being left out in the mother of all cities this coming weekend. This is the Foblo Bulletin. Live from headquarters, you are watching the Foblo Bulletin. All the news, all the news, all the news you need to avoid failing as a Cape Tonian this coming weekend. My name is Ruder Landman. Good afternoon. In the headlines today, it's a bumper month end on Harrington Street, home of the city's whitest crowds and drunkest barchis. The assembly is reportedly bringing you fireball, capital letters, and bomba estereo of Colombia described as dubbed electro, tropical and psychedelic trance. Woodstock is back in the news. This weekend, those trendy hipsters at the exchange took to their Facebook page to ask A or B. They needed all of us to come and taste their new Tanzanian slabs. Hashtagging hashtag Africa cow, hashtag Tanzania, hashtag chocolate experiment. Despite the steady influx of Range Rovers and Lena Dunham lookalikes, Expect a notable lack of fat people and the odd black face. If you like your chocolate tasting events over easy with a side of look at me for fuck's sakes, I matter fashion. Or if you are simply a freelance illustrator, be there or be squared. Foreign Affairs headlines now. It is with great excitement that the residents of the once thriving whites only neighborhood of Belleville discovered that their latest Baz Luhrmann film, The Great Gatsby, was showing it in one city. The residents say that they have not seen a foreign film screened at their local multi-complex in over two fetal alcohol feud generations. <laughs> Keep moving. Move it faster. In Claremont, Cavendish Square, home of these sexually frustrated Jenny Button-clad moms and delinquent teenagers, has sprouted the first ever organ donation for clothing event, titled The Exchange. Or as I like to call it, an ad agency desperate for a lurry. <laughs> what? What? If you are a lesbian and too afraid to ask, yes, Drag Kings is still running every Thursday at Bubbles. Beware of the step down to the bathroom, which has sent many a lezzy to the emergency room with a broken sports shoe-clad ankle. Now for your sports headline. Our favourite whitewashed black Sidon Gezi is back on stage in a one-man show oddly titled Panic. It plays at the still ward of creative space, the Artscape. Expect loud coloured women, couples on their first... Okay, you need to slow it down. Couples on their third date and most likely Siv's mother. The content of the show seems with a synopsis that essentially means <laughs> Joe Barber tick <laughs> for intelligent viewers. We now cross to our entertainment correspondent, Gareth, outside Lavender Hill. <laughs> Gareth. <laughs> We've lost Gareth. Financial indicators are Heineken is still trading at 18 rand at Van Hinks, 20 at Osoko, and 15 rand at Mixers. Hamburgers are set at 56 rand at Hudson, 60 at Royale, and 20 at Burger King. Now for your entertainment news. A cyclist was killed on our roads last week in his attempt to avoid a Cape Town motorist. He was hit by a bus. <laughs> Yet another fatality at the hands of science. You strike a bus, you strike out. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> The mayor has taken a break from renaming Cape Town streets. Many residents have returned home from work over the last year to find themselves living on Helen Sussman or Nelson Mandela Freeway. Madam Mayor is now focusing on her husband's drinking problem, renaming it a previous disadvantage. And finally, a Mitchell's Plain man has confessed to killing a woman for her television and other home appliances. Your weather, don't be lazy, you can Google that. And now, for our sponsors.
And as all, and as always, we end off with an inspirational story. Choppy, a burble from Durbanville. Choppy, a burble, burble from Durbanville, was spotted licking its balls. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? That, I'm afraid, is the end. Come down. Come. That, I'm afraid, is the best we could offer you in the form of what should we have done this weekend. Advice we don't forget to subscribe to our Foblo Bulletin channel. For myself and the team in the newsroom, take that, Deborah Patter. And remember, anal sex is also a form of contraception. Maybe. And to all our younger viewers, remember, Smoking kills.